Hey there, tech friends. In this video, we are going to look at some of the Arduino modules for beginners. This is part three of the series, so if you're new here, check out the first two parts. Now, let's get started. First up, we have the seven segment display module. Very often, a more expensive LCD or OLED displays are not necessary for displaying data in most projects. A seven segment display is simply sufficient. They're a simple and effective way to display numerical information like sensor readings, quantities, or even time. These displays are made up of eight LED segments, seven to display the numbers and a small dot. They come in various sizes and packages like these. But the beginner-friendly ones are the modules that come with the built-in Mac 7219 driver. These modules are compact and require few pins and wires compared to using singular seven-segment displays. But they can only display numbers with the exception of few alphabets like C, A, H, P, etc. Next up, let me introduce you to the RTC module. Many microcontrollers can keep time, like the new Arduino Uno R4, which has a built-in RTC, but it is not as nearly as accurate as this dedicated module. So, if your project needs accurate timekeeping, use this. This here is a basic RTC module using the DS1307. Using this, we can do things like set time, read time, create timers and alarms, as well as data logging and time stamping. It even automatically adjusts the date at the end of the month, including leap year corrections, up to the year 2100. It also has a battery, so if even if the Arduino loses power, it will continue to keep time on its own. Next up, we've got the touch button module, a game changer when it comes to user interaction. It acts just like a button, but the sensor can recognize touch even from behind glass and thin surfaces making it an amazing choice if you are aiming for aesthetics in your project. This module has two non-soldered adjustment pins in the back, A and B, which can be used to control how the switch behaves. By soldering these pins, you can make the switch act differently like make it stay high till you touch it again. Next up, the soil moisture sensor. A typical soil moisture sensor consists of two parts the probe and the module. The fork-shaped probe with two exposed conductors is inserted into the soil or wherever the moisture content is to be measured. The electronic module connects the probe to the Arduino. The module has both analog and digital outputs. The sensitivity of the digital output can be adjusted with the built-in potentiometer. You can use it to set a threshold so that when the soil moisture level exceeds the threshold, the module outputs low, otherwise high. The analog output generates a voltage proportional to the soil moisture level. This module will be very useful if you're setting up a self-watering smart garden. Next up, the relay module. It allows your five volt Arduino to control a high voltage device like a lamp, fan, or even 12 volt devices, which it cannot directly control. These modules are inexpensive, simple to connect, and ideal for home automation projects. It is an electrically operated switch that can be turned on or off and can be controlled with low voltages, like the 5V provided by the Arduino pins. The only downside is that because these are electromechanical devices, they are more prone to wear and tear over time. Next up, the servo motor. It is a type of motor that is known for its precision. If your project requires precise positioning, a servo motor is usually the best option. They generally move to a position rather than continuously rotating. They are simple to connect and control because the motor driver is built right into them. Next is the RFID reader module. This is the RC522 RFID reader writer module. It works with 13.56 MHz cards and tags, which should be sufficient for beginner projects. With this module, you can read and write RFID cards or tags or anything with an RFID chip in it. The module's operating voltage ranges from 2.5 to 3.3 volts, but the good news is that the logic pins are 5 volt tolerant, 
so we can easily connect it to an Arduino or any 5 volt logic microcontroller without using a logic level converter. This module is useful if you are building a security system or attendance systems. The last one is a fun module, a joystick shield for the Arduino Uno. It connects directly on top of the Uno, making it a joystick instantly. It has a joystick, four large buttons and two small buttons. The shield has a voltage slide switch that allows you to select whether you are using it with a 5V board like an Arduino Uno or Mega or a 3.3V MCU like the Arduino Dew. Be sure to set it to the correct voltage for the board you are using. The module also has several pins brought out to make it easier to connect other devices directly. Here, you can connect Bluetooth modules, RF modules here, Nokia LCD displays here, and the I2C lines are brought out here. Overall, this shield makes it very easy for you to make controllers for remote cars or robots. That's all folks. If you would like to pick up any of these modules for yourself, I have included the links in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Tech Talkies.